This is the Empire Toy Steam Engine, made by the Metalware Corporation of Two Rivers, Wisconsin, in 1921. This is one of the first engines that Metalware made. Um, it's very early, it has the very early plate and the very early solid flywheel. Both would change real quickly. 1921 is when Metalware Company bought the toy, the toy line for boys and girls. This is a boy's toy. Um, electrically heated, of course, the same as all the Empire toys, with a coffee pot cord. The nice part about this engine is the flywheel is so heavy that the engine the, the engine is self-starting. It has a whistle. And we'll start the engine. The spoke flywheel engines won't do that. Nineteen twenty one makes this ninety nine years old and still running. Here's the water glass. The problem with these B thirty engines is if you let the water go all the way down to the bottom of the glass, the boiler is empty. And when the boiler is empty, uh, it's not a good thing. No. no, you melt all the solder in the boiler. So you have to, you have to stop this engine before the water gets to the bottom of the glass. Single acting engine. Exhaust out the back of the valve. There's a pulley on the back side to, for the boy to run his accessories. The safety valve is in the stack. You can throttle the engine down. You can make, make it go fast, throttle it down to a nice speed. How many of today's toys will still be running in a hundred years? This is the condition I got the engine in. Um, I don't think it's been played with much. The back of the engine is very plain. I didn't have much to do on this engine except replace the whistle, because the whistle was missing. Being very early, it has a 300 watt heating element. The later ones have a 350 and some have a 375 watt, which is about half of a coffee pot, of a small coffee pot. And there you have it, the 1921 Empire B30.